surrounding our indranagar school is so many christian institutions with huge amount of property and buildings and hardly anybody is inside but nobody talks about they f grabbed they have encroached into government land those are government land they did not purchase government land may be either stolen property by the british and given to them but whatever be the reason stolen property or whatever it is given to them it is their duty to shed we were struggling without a land and the same missionaries sent people to chase us out from those land and grab the land using the word grab yes encroached yes grab the land <laughs> can you believe it this is they were living in a deceased world of lies and they cannot come out of that sundays is only one day they go to cleanse all the tooth to fill in full of lies again <laughs> to preach it back hence when we tell the people never ask this to questions three questions in my school in my ashram they keep on asking and there starts the first step of psychological disturbances sometimes i get very angry and i tell them if you intend to ask this question please don't step inside here because because of you i have to spend more money on hospitals i went to i was called by the ndk kalyan mandap very near to indranagar to pick up uh, excess food during a function or wedding that is the beginning days this 25 years back story i'm telling i had a motorbike i took the motorbike i had the rack sack fill up with the vessels empty vessels one in the back one in the front one lying down the front of the motorbike two straps on two hands this is how i go after i filled it up one of the person in that team said is this really going to that school i made it stop the motorbike and emptied everything so why are you getting angry i said when you give give with trust this is a land of trust if you don't give it with trust if you suspect and if i take this food and give to my school children they will fall sick i have to find money for medicines since i will not take <laughs> so the whole people surrounding my indranagar is full of missionaries which has taken properties from the british free of cost and it's their people maybe you call it less than 2% who is having the same question poisoned question they create whatsapp group and sends to everybody in ranagar to destroy a seva center a, a group a school which is helping blind students and other children in need nobody has ever thought about that they always think rakum has grabbed rakum has encroached <laughs> they never thought that they should also write a letter to the ministry asking them to allot a land or there are many people who do not want properties their children are in america they never thought of writing the property into rakum schools name <laughs> that will happen it is happening suddenly one day i got a call and they said i want to meet that swami ji that baba ji who is that rukum rakum guru ji and i'll give you time 2 o'clock and my receptionist said uh, are you free i said i am not free i am <laughs> undergoing a treatment so i can't come at that time what is the reason she said somebody wants to donate land i said then i will <laughs> cancel all my engagement i rushed up i was there by around 12:30 2 o'clock this two ladies walked in <laughs> and they just, just did not say anything they just gave me a piece of paper and that is original paper of a property in tamil nadu in tiruvannamalai and i looked at it i was shocked he said this is yours do whatever you want it we just trust you we have been watching you for years together i looked into the paper and it says 3 acres of prime land 
near to the main road in Tiruvannamad. I told her, at least give it in writing. She took it immediately, wrote it up, sealed it up and gave. So we started the first step of people just donating land.